What's going on, good people? Back at it again. Uh, today, I just kind of wanted to hit on, you know, uh, what can we expect from our kids? You know, uh, at a young age, I say you can expect your kids, you know, one to two years old, you know, they just start crawling, walking. It's just a, it's a brand new experience. So they're they moving around a lot, starting to fidget and touch everything. Um, then you get on to after the terrible twos, you know, early elementary, things like that. You can expect them to, now they want to just broaden their horizon. Their imagination is going crazy. You know, they, they, they building tents in, in the house. You know, they want to climb trees and get stuck. You know, they want to mess with bugs. You know, uh, you know, just the wild stuff we did, you know, messing around at a, at a young age. Uh, you get up to middle school. You, when your kids hit middle school, now, you know, puberty, puberty hit. So now you got your kids just learning from other kids, picking up bad habits, depending on how much energy you, you've been putting into your child, maybe picking up bad habits, maybe from you and from the other kids there. You know, they some of them lead, some of them follow. You know, it's it's, it's, it's kind of a back and forth. They're trying, they're trying to figure themselves out. What you can expect in high school? Expect your kids to kind of disappear. You know, right at the high school time, you know, I'm, I'm going to the basketball court. You know, you got girls going to hang out and do makeup. You got them going to the mall. Uh, different people, we don't have arcades in us like that no more. So, guy going over there to game at other people's house. You know, you have, a, you have a lot going on. So, you can expect your high school kids not to be there as much. Uh, you know, just getting into a lot of things, getting ready to be adult, moving around a lot. So, what can you really expect from your kids at the end of the day? You can expect your kids to give you a life lesson. You know, at a younger age, when you have your first child, second child, whatever, they're, they're tender, they're naive, they don't know nothing. You have to shelter that baby as much as possible to keep them from hurting themselves. Baby don't understand if they try to climb up on that chair, they're gonna fall. So you expect to have to be more attentive, more protective as hell, you know, at that young age, when they get to elementary. Elementary school, like I said, kids are learning different things seeing different things hearing different things so you have to put more energy into your child early to put some of your positive your good into them we do not want our kids to do what we did so what you can expect to see in middle school is honestly start to see some of the fruit some of the good habits that you've been trying to put into your child you know continue to do it continue to keep that ball rolling continue to have your child at that age i think particularly in middle school to want to open up and tell you any and everything that's going on. You know, you talk about bullying, you talk about um, uh, girls, you talk about guys, you talk about sports, you talk about aspirations once they get to high school. High school, again, like I said, everybody's older, you know, you didn't got bigger, you didn't got taller. Your, your child right then really feeling themselves. As a child, I know we did it, you know. You, you're a student athlete, you're out there doing everything that everybody else is doing. But you have to be able to put your energy, your time into your child to bring them down to earth, to keep them down to earth, to understand that, hey, you can do anything you want to do, but understand there's consequences to everything we do. So we can expect for your child at the end of the day, for me, my opinion, is to give you a strong life lesson, to not, not give you a reset, but give you a chance to help the next generation to not make the same mistakes we did to mold and be a lot better for the next generation, the next generation, and the next generation. So, what you expect from your kids? Great things, man, that's what we do. We want to be better parents that make you a better person as long as we pay attention. Y'all live right, play fair. Holla at us.